Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x squared minus 4 whole squared is equal to 25. We need to find all possible values of x. We will solve it by two methods. So, let's start with method 1. In this method, we move this 25 to the left hand side. Then this equation will become x squared minus 4 whole squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus 4 whole squared minus this 25 can be written as 5 squared is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become x squared minus 4 plus 5 times x squared minus 4 minus 5 is equal to 0. Next x squared this uh, negative 4 plus 5 will become plus 1 times x squared this uh, negative 4 minus 5 will become negative 9 is equal to 0. So from here is this expression x squared plus uh, 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. From this equation we move this uh, plus 1 to the right hand side then x squared will be equal to negative 1 and from here we take a square root of both sides x squared and we take a square root is equal to plus minus square root of negative 1. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to plus minus this square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, from here we get the two values of x, x1 is equal to i and x2 is equal to negative i. Now, from this equation x squared minus this 9 can be written as 3 squared is equal to 0. Now, we have difference of 2 squares. So, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This x squared minus 3 squared will become x plus 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, from here is this expression x plus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to negative 3 and from this equation we get the value of x is equal to 3. This is the third value of x and this is the fourth value of x. So, we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation. Now, let us solve this equation by method 2. In the second method, we take a square root of uh, both sides of uh, this equation x squared minus 4 whole squared we take a square root on the left hand side is equal to 25 and we take a square root on the right hand side. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and here we are left with uh, x squared minus 4 is equal to plus or minus 5 and from here either 
x squared minus 4 is equal to positive 5 or x squared minus 4 is equal to negative 5. Now from this equation we move this uh, negative 4 to the right hand side. Then x squared will be equal to 5 plus 4 and x squared will be equal to 9. Now from here we take a square root of both sides x squared and we take a square root on the left hand side is equal to 9 and we take a square root on the right hand side. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to plus or minus 3 means x1 is equal to 3 and x2 is equal to negative 3. From this equation we move this uh, negative 4 to the right hand side then x squared will be equal to negative 5 this uh, negative 4 will become positive 4 at right hand side and uh, x squared will be equal to negative 5 plus 4 negative 1 and from here we take a uh, square root of uh, both sides square root of negative 1. Now this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we get the value of x is equal to plus minus square root of negative 1 is i. So from here we get the uh, other two values of x. x3 is equal to positive i and uh, x4 is equal to negative I. So by using second method we got the same solutions x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to negative 3 and x3 is equal to positive i, x4 is equal to negative i. Now let us uh, verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is uh, x squared minus 4 whole squared is equal to 25. So when x is equal to 3 or negative 3 then this equation will become plus or minus 3 whole squared minus 4 whole squared is it equal to 25. Now positive 3 or negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 whole squared is it equal to 25 and 9 minus 4 is 5 squared is it equal to 25. So 5 squared is 25 and this is equal to 25. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means the value of x1 3 is a valid solution and the value of x2 negative 3 is a valid solution. Now when x is equal to i or negative i then this equation will become plus minus i squared minus 4 whole squared is it equal to 25. Now this uh, positive or negative i squared will become positive i squared minus 4 whole squared is it equal to 25 and this uh, i squared is equal to negative 1 minus 4 whole squared is it equal to 25. Now this negative 1 minus 4 will become negative 5. Squared is it equal to 25. And this negative 5 squared is positive 25 is equal to 25. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means 
this value of x3 i is a valid solution and this value of x4 negative i is a valid solution.